Hey, we're going to talk about repeater fields. The first time I heard the term, I remember taking a step back and feeling very confused. I understood custom fields, and of course, there's lots of ways you could do that in WordPress. ACF, pods, Metabox, and other solutions. However, I was hearing repeater fields a lot, and it started to confuse me. Now, we're not going to go through the tools and plugins you can use. We've got other videos for that. But I want to get across what exactly is a repeater field. So let's start with some of the basics, okay? You may or may not have a particular post type. Now, don't forget, you can use custom fields without having a separate post type. And if you did want to add in your own post type, you could use custom post type UI or ACF when they bring out their new version or even within pods, etc. So I've given you two examples here, okay, just to show you the difference and how they are quite similar once you get your head around it. Let's say we've created a custom post type for restaurant and we're going to have an example in here for McDonald's, okay? And then we've got another post type for organization and here we've got Apple. Now the McDonald's and Apple are the entries. So you've created your post type, restaurants, okay? And then you're now going to go and add a new post and you're going to give it a title and the title in this scenario is McDonald's. Does that make sense? So you've got your custom post type, you've added it now, and now you're going to add in a new post. We've got McDonald's and we've got Apple. Now inside of each of those post types, we are going to have custom fields. But the restaurant, our custom field is actually going to be the food type. So let's just work that down now, okay? Our post type is restaurant and we've created a new one for McDonald's. And then inside of there, we are going to have food types. You're going to have like uh, snacks, burgers, drinks, salads, etc. things like that. So these are groups. Okay, I know you're going to say, yeah, but you have cheeseburger and triple cheeseburger and filet o fish and all of that. Yeah, but I'm talking about the food type. Okay, so the custom field is the food type. For the organization, the custom field will be the team name. Okay, so we've got organization and we've got Apple. Then inside of there, we're going to have a custom field called team name. And the team name in this scenario is the developers. Now's the point when we go and add in the repeater field. And I will again clarify why we've done that. And why didn't we just add in more custom fields? So if we stay on the restaurant now, our repeater field is going to be the details. So it might be like the name of the food, the calorie, the ingredients, how many people does it serve? Now, here's the reason why I didn't just add the name of the burger and the calories and the ingredient as a separate custom field. Because now think about this scenario. If you had cheeseburger and now you wanted to show the calories for the cheeseburger, you'd have to create a field for cheeseburger ingredients, cheeseburger calories, cheeseburger whatever. Okay, you're going to have to add on individual fields. So now imagine for our McDonald's burger, okay, we've got 10 burgers. Let's just say Big Mac, cheeseburger, triple cheeseburger, and everything else. And we want to show the calories and ingredients per burger. So let's say we've got 10 burgers. We are now going to have to have 20 extra fields to cover off the calorie and the ingredients because it's two times each particular burger. That's a lot of fields you're going to be adding on. And this is where the repeater field kicks in. So we have a custom field for burger, the repeater field, which will repeat per custom field for that particular one, the burger, will be the calories and the ingredients. So when you go to the food type and you now pick burger, underneath that, the repeater fields will kick in. They won't show until you go and pick the burger. So you might then go, right, we're going to type in cheeseburger. And next door to that, we put in the calories. And next door to that, we put in the ingredients. Next one down, you might decide, okay, we stop there. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go put in the Big Mac. You, put, you type in Big Mac and then you put in all the other peel, fields. The name and the calories and the ingredients, these are all the additional fields that save you over repeating yourself with a custom field. Now, on the other side, though, very quickly, though, with Apple.com uh, or whoever they are, we got the team name is developers. So when you, sorry. The team name is the custom field. When you pick that and you now type in developers, the repeater fields kick in. Maybe it's like name, role, 
uh, social sharing icons, contact number, contact email address. If I now go and type in a different team name for designers, again, the repeater field show. And again, if there's one staff member or 20 staff members, you know, it might chop and change. I can add in accordingly. That is the basis of the repeater field. So if you want them to repeat as per say a parent field, and in this case, the custom field is the parent, the children of that are the repeater fields. I hope that made sense. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share or follow, share or follow, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.